Good morning, folks. It's going to be a great day. No major earthquakes last 24 hours. Weather is getting interesting, though. Flooding isn't all the UK is dealing with. I'll continue calling out this convergence of high and low pressure, the low having helical cloud movement. I've heard reports of wind speed reaching 60 miles per hour or higher. Equally important is the freezing air this will bring over the next week could be your coldest week of the year so far. Southwest Pacific has two major meteorological concerns, heat where the tropical low spills down towards Antarctica, and thunderstorms with the pressure convergence. The thunderstorms have been very damaging and the heat has them in the worst fire hazard in years. Storms set to continue. Well, there's half the low pressure system sweeping across the United States, about half as bad as I thought it'd be. It is ripping cold air down the caboose of the low cell that did create the precipitation records yesterday in Minnesota and North Dakota. Watching that satellite in motion, you can see the basis for the current winter and wind advisories. It's only half as bad as predicted because the other half is a stubborn little monkey still refusing to move from its position in the Northeast Pacific a week ago. Still looks like a mini arc storm. Won't stop raining until the low moves. Solar wind density is slightly elevated, but the speed is falling and temperature holding steady. There is no disturbance of our magnetic shield. Nothing induced, just little PC-1 pulsations. There have been no significant flares since the M3 blast we shared with you yesterday. You'll remember it will compound previous CMEs out just ahead of it and likely strike together. But we have to add a third little trailer on this. Last solar images shared yesterday was an instability of the southeastern limb. Well, during that instability, another coronal mass ejection was released. Add that to the M3 here. Should be a triple event. We got coronal holes up north and down south. Tough to tell if either will be geo-effective. No major eruptions otherwise. CME impacts could begin tonight as the aurora and magnetic storm watches on through the weekend. Also, eight major quakes last watch. One since it ended on the 18th. Next watch is only days away. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.